Let's go to, well, appropriately, Jason Anderson. Go ahead, Jason. Uh, hi, Andy. Uh, good to get to speak to you. Congrats on the goals. Um, I, I wanted to ask, uh, first of all, um, after the last couple of weeks, how has this camp been for you, whether it is, you know, just shaking off some rust or, or the mental side of things, just having, you know, training sessions followed by a game? <laughs> normal yeah, um, it's been great to be here. Um, it's always great to be here. Um, it's rare that I would say that this environment is less stressful than our club environments, but that's the case for me right now. So I'm um, just super excited to, to get into camp. Um, great types of great training and get to play a game. Um, I was just joking with Kelly in the locker room, like, when was our last game and how long has it been? So, um, but hopefully we won't have any of those issues going forward. So just happy to be here and get to play. Great, thanks. Thanks, Jason. Let's go to Doug McIntyre. Go ahead, Doug. Thanks, Ty. Hi, Andy. Congrats on, on your first goals. Uh, wanted to ask you about Carly Lloyd. Obviously, a big big night for her. Um, Blacko talked about her mentality. You've played with her a bunch over the last five years. Uh, I'm curious how that mentality rubs off on, on her teammates, on you. And when you think of your time around her, what, what sort of stands out? Thank you very much. Well, tonight was so special. For I feel like Carly's broken like every record that there is. So just to you know score a ton of goals tonight um, for her was awesome. It was great to be a part of that. Um, yeah, Carly's mentality is is next level, and it's a huge fabric of the team. Um, and it's something that I think that's what I've taken from her is that if she's going to retire, we need to be absorbing all her wisdom and all her experiences. And I I've always appreciated that about Carly over the years she and I have talked a lot you know whether that's long conversations or short things here and there and she's always willing to share her perspective and that's invaluable um, for me as an individual and for us as a team so we'll definitely miss her but I'm I'm glad that she's going out on a high and and uh, sharing what she you know all that she's done for the game with us so that we can continue to, to grow it as well any specific memories that you think you'll, you'll with you down the line? Um, good question. I, I can't say there's one thing. There's a million things. Just how she attacks every session um, is so is such a good example and something that I, I like to think about. And we I, she even mentioned it to me yesterday is like, you know, it, it looks like I was going to get to start and she was like, hey, this is your time. So just always you know, looking at things as opportunities is, I think, what I'll, I'll take from her. Awesome. Thank you very much, Andy. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Let's go to Steph Young. Go ahead, Steph. Thanks, Aaron. Um, Andy, I'm going to zigzag a little bit here. This is a question about the team's mood with regards to CBA negotiation. Um, uh, before this game, there was a little bit of back and forth in social media where her, you know, unofficial U.S. soccer communications Twitter basically called, you know, the HBO doc LG a stunt, and, you know, in response to the players responding to, you know, and so forth. Um, when you guys hear Cindy Carlo Cohen make statements seemingly in good faith, but then an official communications channel says something like this, does it create any dissonance for you guys and how you feel about U.S. Soccer's approach to, you know, negotiating or bargaining with you guys, or is it not a factor? It's a good question. I think there's tremendous strength in this team's ability to focus. So, um, and we have had, this isn't the first time <laughs> there's been conflict, so um, we just focus on business and we obviously did that well tonight. So that's all I'll say on that. All right, thank you. Thanks, Steph. Let's go to Amelia Hurtle. Go ahead. Hi, Andy. Uh, thanks for the time and congrats on your two goals. Um, just being in this camp right now, just kind of wondering how you can use your time here um, to get into a good rhythm, you know, to move forward with this team and then, you know, as you guys, you know, prep for the World Cup. Yeah, um, obviously this is a great time to celebrate the Olympic journey that this team had, but it's also a time to prepare for the future. So, um, and I think this team is doing a good job of doing both things. Um, and so, yeah, the, these games are important for me and for the rest of the team to 
establish good habits. That was kind of Blacko's focus tonight. Is it's about us and about all the little details that we do well. Um, so I think we all really had that in the back of our minds and, and did that for 90 minutes tonight. So um, I'm sure there will be details that he wants us to fix and we'll fix that for next game. And um, yeah, and just it's all about getting better. So I think it's a great opportunity to get into that rhythm for the future. Thank you. Thank you. Jonathan Tannewald, you're up next. Go ahead. Thank you, Aaron, and thank you, Andy, for the time. You know, Black Bill was talking about how happy he is to, to have you finally back healthy and, and playing well for, for club and country. I know it's been a long time getting back to this point for you where you have you know, been able to look out at the horizon and hopefully see a long stretch here of, of big opportunities for you <laughs> to put a mark down on this team. You hope, I'm sure, you know, what, what's it like for you in that regard? Yeah, um, it's been quite a journey, but I think if you look around at every player here, every player has had kind of injury struggles and good timing and bad timing. And I, I think my story is no different um, and it's not over. So yes, it's been a long tumultuous time. I've been in, I've been out, um, but yeah, I'm definitely excited for the future and I'm gonna continue to work to keep getting better and hopefully I would love to be a mainstay on this team. That is my, my goal. So um, I'm going to keep working to do that and hopefully it happens. Uh, go ahead, JT. Sorry. Good. Yeah, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Um, you're certainly not new to the team. Obviously it's just been sort of stop start. And yeah. You know, the point, this is the time of the quadrennial cycle where things start to turn over a little bit. Do you feel like you can, you can put a stamp down? In these next few games. Yeah, I I believe that I can do that, and I I feel like it's a great time for everyone to, to contribute. And um, yeah, I think this is a great opportunity for me to try and weasel my way in here. <laughs> and it's tough, and I wouldn't want it any other way. I wouldn't want it to be easy. So um, yeah, it's definitely a good opportunity to get in here. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> You, 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 you've said enough, and the team's about to leave the stadium, so we have to let Andy go. Okay. Andy, congrats on your first Thanks. two goals. More to come.